Hello and welcome. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install MySQL database on your Windows 11 computer. By installing MySQL, you will be able to create new table and also use the database to your application development. So by installing database, I mean installing the MySQL server on your Windows 11 computer. So let's get started. First of all, on Google, I am searching MySQL download and this page appeared. Now I'll go to MySQL downloads on the first link. And here to download MySQL community version, the version we need, we have to go to down of this page and click on MySQL community GPL downloads. Okay, on this link after clicking on this we'll get the page and here we can see lots of downloads available but the one thing we are looking for is mysql community server okay so here after clicking on mysql community server we can see that current community version is 8.0 so in development purpose uh, the version we install on local computer is always MySQL community server. So here the current version is 8.0.30 and since our operating system is Windows, I am clicking on this to go to the download page and in this download page we have two options. One is web community installer and another one is direct installer which is 448 megabyte in size. Now we have to download this file and install. Okay, so I'm downloading this file. To download this, we can log in to keep record, but there is an option here. No thanks, just start my download. This is important. You can just click here. You don't need to log in or sign up. So I'm clicking on this, just start my download and my download is being started i'm saving it on my download location and let's wait for it to download the full file our download is complete now we will be installing the downloaded mysql database so i'm clicking on show in folder here this is the downloaded file i'm tap on clicking on this I have to click yes and our installer opened and here we have option choose a setup type what type of setup we want to install for now, we just want to install the database, nothing else, no MySQL workbench, no any other tool. So here, this is the most important part for a minimal MySQL installation, we will be selecting server only. Okay. So I'm selecting server only and then clicking on next. And our server is selected here. This is the server this will be installing product is mysql server 8 if you want to know what package is in default developer installation you can check here you have mysql for visual studio connector slash python 8 we don't need those things okay so we are going back again and selecting server only so after selecting server only i'm clicking on next and ready to install mysql server so i'm clicking execute and this just started installing this will take some time very little time actually and our server installation is complete i'm clicking on next and my server is now ready to configure i'm clicking on next again here what type of computer is this i can install server in a server computer different type of scenario can happen so in my case this is the development computer 
and connectivity is tcp ip port is default 3306 again you can change the default port for my skill if you want i'm keep keeping the default port and clicking on next now they're asking me to use authentication method which is recommended actually this is to using a very secure password with combination of text number and etc but for now i'm using legacy authentication method which is actually not recommended but for now for this video i'm continuing with this one here they're asking me for the root password the username will be root and the password will be the password i set this is the most powerful user for, for this database this user can perform any operation so i'm setting the root password when in production or server this will be a very secure password but for now i'm here setting also root okay i'm repeating the password root again and clicking on next i can also add some user other user and provide some different rule to different user but for now let's work with only the root password we, we can configure this later the user accounts here what will be my windows service name so since i am installing the server only so i'll be starting the mysql server from windows service which will be in services.msc so mysql server will be starting as a service so here is the name of the service which i provide mysql service will have this name the default name is mysql 80 and the start mysql server at startup is selected uh, my personal preference is deselecting this so that we can start our server when necessary but if you select this every time your computer starts it will automatically start the mysql process in the background so i'm keeping everything at as it is selecting this and clicking on next and here this is the last part so this is the thing which will be executed after i click on this execute button so these steps are actually required to successfully complete the installation now i'm clicking on the execute button and all steps are done now i'm clicking on finish to complete the mysql installation and it's showing that the server installation is complete and finally i'm clicking on finish to close this window now our database installation is complete but how how can we understand that our installation is complete first of all i will show you how to turn the mysql server on and off so for that you can type windows and r button at the same time and type services.msc as .msc and press enter it will open a new window which contains all the services running or can be running on this computer so here we have set our service name as mysql80 so i'm typing m to go to m part of this list and here mysql80 this is the service we have just installed and if i double click on this i can see that startup type is manual so if i restart my computer now i have to manually click here to start since this is already running so i my start button is disabled and i have only stop button okay so our mysql server is running now how can i connect to this server mysql server and create a new database okay this is actually most important and final part so to do that i will be using a database tool so, uh, here uh, my recommended version free software which is already installed on this computer is heidi sql h-e-i-d-i sql 
this is a free software you can use it with mysql and also with postgresql if you want so i'm opening hdsql and remember we have set the password for default user is root so i'm clicking on first starting the hd software i have to click on this plus button plus new button and here our hostname ip is localhost or this url by default if you want to connect to your local database you will have this or localhost any one of that both are same here my username is root and password is also root okay i'm clicking on open yes my tool just connected to the server database server i am renaming this I'm renaming this typing mysql local so on my mysql local I'm typing the password root and clicking on open if I right click here and go to create new database then I can create new database so let's say I want to create a database for university management so the name will be university university management is the name of the database and if i want to create a new table here i can click on this database and then right click here create new table that name of the table can be student and i can add id as data type and set is as primary key then add student name and data type as worker and click on save this is for demonstration purpose only you can create as many table you want you can set relationship you can add foreign key constraint and lots of things so this is how you install mysql database and use it on your computer on your windows computer i hope you got the idea if you have any query or feedback don't hesitate to comment down below and if you are actually helped with this tutorial consider subscribing to my channel for more helpful content in the future happy coding